boat building emerged as one of the original industries in the Puget Sound region. The whole region was built around the water. The first modes of transportation for everyone concerned was on the water. The Puget Sound was the region's first highway and trade route. Um, I, I consider Puget Sound to be highway number one in this area. It was the way the, the, the area was discovered and explored and then uh, the transportation for people to get around and uh, move goods and services it was all done by the water. The Mosquito Fleet was the foundation of the region's early economy. The Mosquito Fleet was a large flotilla of commercial boats that uh, ran up and down Puget Sound delivering cargo and passengers, uh, mail, everything uh, that, that people needed was delivered by the Mosquito Fleet. The Virginia Five is the last steam-powered remnant of the Mosquito Fleet, still making a living carrying passengers around the Puget Sound. Commercial fishing and work boats were signature industries in the region, but soon, Northwesterners sought boats for recreation as well as toil. The first yachts were based on work boat designs. Maritime historian Scott Rohrer Naval architects at the turn of the century weren't specialists. Um, this, this specialization uh, between sail and power, racing and cruising, uh, large and small, um, wasn't known um, back then. A naval architect cranked out everything. At that time, you could be degreed by practice. If you produ produced a large enough body of work, the, the state would license you with a naval architecture degree. Northwest designers specialized in rugged vessels designed for cruising the challenging waters extending from Seattle along the coast of British Columbia to Alaska. They were good boats that have stood the test of time. Boats from that era have quietly gained a popularity all over the world and unfortunately when they're on the market too frequently they're selling out of the area. But it has led to a much broader appreciation of these great designers who, who really were sort of forgotten during the, the post-war era, the advent of the fiberglass age. I think Northwest classic yachts have a few distinguishing features. Number one, they're designed with, with Northwest weather in mind. Um, so very often there's a bridge deck design, most of the boats uh, enclosed. Northwest boats are typically designed with a displacement hull. This um, has two advantages. Number one, it pushes them through the water very easily, but it's also the type of hull that um, is most amenable to, to difficult waters. Once you built a boat in the Pacific Northwest, you had plenty of places to use it. A lot of these vessels were built for Puget Sound and the inside passage to Alaska. This was prime cruising ground and it was uh, virtually wild uh, native lands that uh, you, you could get out and see. People come from everywhere in the world just to cruise the grounds between here and, and, and the top of southeast Alaska. Well, the Northwest boats are rugged and heavily built based on the commercial fishing vessels that went to Alaska regularly and had to uh, battle the heavy seas and uh, it shows in the, in, in the boats and they've got a fairly deep keel and long and narrow, heavily ballasted, good sea boats. 